All right, guys, we're going to work through today's homework called All Things Similarity Check, which there's a lot of details that we went over in class, and we're just going to see how well we know this information. Um, the first one is determine if the following triangles are similar. We have three ways we can do that, SAS, SSS, and AA. Remembering that the sides must be proportional and the angles must be equal. And if two angles match, we know they all three match. Um, so this first situation here, well, if that's 90 degrees, this would also be 90 because they have to add up to 180. So we have two angles matching two angles. This would have to be AA. On the second one, we have an angle and a side matching an angle and a side, but we don't have anything else. Um, if we had another angle, we could say AA. If we had an another side, still not good because like if those two sides match, for instance, that's SSA, that's still no bueno. Um, so that wouldn't do it. But as it sits, not enough information. We don't know. Kind of hard to tell because the picture got broken up. But this is a mid-segment because it connects two midpoints, which means these lines are parallel. And if the lines are parallel, then the corresponding angles will be equal. Angle, angle. And then here we have parallel lines again. So we know that these angles are corresponding and equal. We have the angle at the top, so angle, angle matches angle, angle. We got another angle, angle. So angle, angles, and, and any eye. That's all we had there. Nice. Um, scale map, 1.5 inches represents 5 miles. So we have 1.5 to 5. Um, it says if the distance measured on the map from one town to another is 10.5 inches. So we have inches over miles, so we're going to stay with inches over miles um, and then this is the way it's set up we can just cross multiply so that's going to be 1.5 x equals 5 times 10.5 um, so 5 times 10.5 is 52.5 divided by 1.5 is 35 nice here we have a similarity statement that's really important. So let's go through each set of sides and find the ones that are equal. We know that BE10 goes with THY, so we know 10 goes with Y. We know that ah, we know that ET goes with HA, so ET goes with HA. We don't have anything there. We know that uh, TS goes with uh, AN. So TS has to go with AN. That's 8. TS, AN is 4. So we know that 8 goes with 4. That's a 4. We can write a better 4. 8 goes with 4. And then we know that YN... Sorry, we know that SQ goes with YN. Um, so SQ is X and YN is 5. And I got all of this strictly from the name. I'm going by the name. And so the only complete set I have is this 8 over 4. So I'm going to do two, two different setups. 10 over Y equals 8 over 4. And 8 over 4 equals x over 5. Both of these must be true. Um, in both cases, what do we do first? We reduce. 8 over 4 is 2 over 1. And then I can reduce horizontally. 2 and 10 becomes 1 and 5. So y equals 5. Over here, 8 and 4 become 2 and 1. Cross multiply, x equals 10. Once again, we have a name. We must use the name. So like here we have SH. What does SH go with? It goes with KH. So here's KH. So we know SH, 2X plus 3, goes with KH, 3X minus 2. Um, and then we have some pieces marked, like 6 and 6. This would have to be 5 and 5, right? They mark those as equal. So then I know SK, right? SK is 6 plus 6, 12. And that has to go with KO. KO, 5 plus 5, is 10. So if you, 
it can be kind of hard to even see what triangles they're talking about, but you have to go by the name, guys. I did all of that based off the name. And I did left shape over right shape every time. Be consistent, use the corresponding pieces, and you're going to be okay. So this is our setup. First things we do is reduce. This would be six fifths. Um, nothing else we can reduce there, so we cross multiply. Six times three X minus two equals five times two X plus three. 18x minus 12 equals 10x plus 15. And so then we have 8x equals 27. So x equals 27 over 8. And that's the final answer. So I went by the names. Corresponding parts have to be proportional when the shapes are similar. Corresponding sides, I should say. Um, on this next picture, number five, it tells us that those lines are parallel. And if, those are, if these lines are parallel, then we have our parallel line properties. So the space between parallel lines will always have the same ratio. So x minus 4 over x minus 5, left over right, has to equal 18 over 15. And I did left over right equals left over right. Remember, there's four ways you could have done this. You could have done left over left equals right over right. That would have been fine. You could have done right over left equals right over left. That would have been fine. How do you check if your proportion is the same as mine? Look at your cross products. Do you have 18 and x minus 5 and then 15 and x minus 4? If you do, then you wrote the same thing a different way. I'm going to reduce this. Divide by 3 would be 6 and 5. And now I can cross multiply. That would be 6 times x minus 5 equals 5 times x minus 4. That's going to be 6x minus 30 equals 5x minus 20. So x equals 10. Um, how long is BE? Well, plug in 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. So BE has to be 5. Perfect. All right, this is an angle bisector. Angle bisector rule says that the two sides that touch the angle bisector, 11 and 14, have to have the same ratio as the two parts of the third side. This one's a higher level question. If that part's x, um, then how long is the piece we need over here? Well, what if I told you that this was like 6? I'm just making that up. It's not 6. But if that was 6, wouldn't you know that this is 14? Because 20 minus 14 equals, or sorry, 20 minus 6 equals 14. Yeah. Um, but it's not that. It's, it's x. So if that part is x, how long is the other part? It's 20 minus x. It's 20 minus whatever x is. So we know that 11 over 14, the two sides have to have the same ratio as the two parts, 20 minus x and x. Can't reduce anything here, so 11x equals 14 times 20 minus x. So 11x equals 280 minus 14x. So 25x equals 280. Um, divide by 25, you can reduce by 5. That'd be, f uh, that'd be f 25, 5 be 20, 40, 50. 6, I mean, 280 over 25. Oh, 56 over 5. Oh, there we go, 56 over 5. And that's what x would have to equal. Nailed it. Um, parallel line properties. So the space between parallel lines, we can do all day long. So let's put some letters in here. If they, they're asking for GA, I'm going to call that X. And they're asking for FC, I'm going to call that Y. Well, I can do these right away. So I know that the space between x and 4 has to equal the space between 4 and 6 when you have parallel lines. So I'm going to solve that. We're going to reduce. That would be 2 thirds. So 3x equals 8. x has to equal 8 thirds. So we got that, and that's this one. Now, the other one's a lot harder. Remember that it's based on the triangles. So if I say 3 over y, that's the... That's the right side of the triangle. And I'm going to go ahead and draw it out over just so we kind of see it. We have a small triangle that has sides of 4, 3, and x. And then if we look at this, this is like a bigger triangle. How big are the sides of that triangle? 
um, their x plus 4, y, and 6 plus 4 would be 10. So if I say 3 over y, what does it have to go with? It has to go with 4 over 10. When you use the actual parallel lines, you must focus on the triangles. So if I do small triangle over big triangle, I have to do small triangle over big triangle, 10. Um, and then we, we reduce that. That'd be 2 fifths. So 2y equals 15. So y equals 15 over 2, which is our answer there. Anytime you have an extended ratio like this, you need to know what they add up to. These are angles of a quadrilateral. So we know that they add up to 360. They were reduced by something. What did they reduce by? We don't know. But we know that it's the same number every time. So we call that number x, and we re-multiply the x, and we know that they the original angles had to be 360. So 18x is 360, so the scale factor, or the thing they reduced by, the GCF, is 20. So the original angles were 40, 140, 80, and 100. Well, what is the biggest, which size, what is the size of the biggest angle? That would be the 140, 7 times 20. And that's the whole thing, guys. So that's a quick overview of most of the properties we talked about today. We're going to keep working on this for, for a few days. Um, yeah, a lot of fun.